Hi all, welcome to another Jazz24 Banter Blitz. It's approaching 11.30. I'm just waiting for my preview screen. Ah, got it, excellent. And um, let's have a look at the voucher code to start off with for a moment. You can get a whopping 15% off if you use the voucher code Kings Crusher. That's Kings plural, Crusher. So 15% off, you can get to play the likes of the world champion, Magnus Carlsen, other grandmasters, international masters. It's absolutely brilliant. Benefits of premium membership. So check that out with that voucher code. Okay, let's go on to the uh, challenges. And Mick Tell to start off with. Let me know about audio and visual, please, if there's an issue. Uh, okay, here we go. <clears throat> Hi, Mac. Um, let's turn that off. Something about my uh, Windows Defender over there. So, is Mick around? He was around earlier. I'll uh, give him the benefit of the doubt for a bit longer. Um, one elephant? <laughs> two elephants I can see this um, symbol over here waiting three elephants uh, okay I'm not sure where Mick's gone I uh, might have to um, okay five elephants <laughs> six elephants seven elephants eight elephants nine elephants ah we got a game okay well worth the wait Okay, so I'm blunting that bishop at the moment on b2. So, uh, yeah, this looks like a reasonable development scheme. Not being too clever. And um, h6, maybe with naughty intentions later. Okay, I think I'll throw in this check. It kind of, you know, weakens uh, the position a bit for white, maybe. Okay, white has that dark square bishop. Mm. I shouldn't be thinking about taking a pawn, but no. Uh, um. <laughs> but I am thinking about taking on a two here. Is that is that a pawn worth taking? Uh, I'll find out. Right. Could be useful in end games. <laughs> Uh, although I have got double pawns over here, it's not a big deal really in the grand scheme of things. And it's distracted with my usual hack attack, so maybe this is it's not a big deal. Uh, I can hit this b5 pawn, take over there, or not bother on h3. Uh, I think oh that, that's that's going to be interesting. I think I'm going to do it. It's going to be interesting, surely. Uh, so let's get this knight in the attack. Uh, maybe this. I'm thinking knight b3 to uh, d4 is not going to happen. Uh, King G7 though makes way for H5, Knight G4, Rook H8 on a good day, which I need. So Rook H8 or G4 here. Hmm, G4 might be interesting as well. That gives me. Uh, Potentially knight h7 to g5. Okay, 
is on my queen. Yeah, this is all pretty doubtful now actually. I don't know why I've done this. It's pretty doubtful. Okay. Knight c5 maybe or f6 first. There's always d4 hitting e5. If I prepare this knight c5. Let's protect this pawn. Knight c5 is about my only idea at the moment. Okay, and maybe hit this pawn chain or h4. Is that pawn loose? Oh, maybe rook h8 if needed. <clears throat> so knight g3, rook h8. Ah, oh, hang on. I can go with uh, knight b4 here to hit d3. <clears throat> I think knight b4. Coming up, oh, it's been stopped. Okay, <clears throat> H four. Not sure that does anything. Ah, uh, maybe maybe it frees up this rook though to come to A two. Does it free up rook A one? Okay, so rook coming to a eight looks interesting for rook a two. Whoop. <clears throat> rook a two coming up. Well, there's g three here in rook a two. That looks interesting. Try and get some material back. There's a nasty pin. Well. There's pin pressure. There's bishop d1, but I think I'm building up some pressure here. There's knight d3 now. Ah, he's let me play knight. Ah, oh, hang on. Okay, is there knight f2? Oh, I'm in trouble. Ah, uh, knight f2. There's knight g3. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, this isn't that clever. Uh, I can't let the knight do that. This isn't clever, is it? Mm, yeah, okay. Is there any chance of rook h1 being dangerous? <clears throat> okay, so knight f2 here or knight b2, maybe knight b2 trying to win c4 and then e3 after. How is that ending? I would get a pass pawn there. Okay, so I'll take it here. Oh, Bishop B3, okay, that's thankfully that's pinned. Uh, but anytime Knight takes this check, winning the rook there. Okay, I, okay, um, Bishop B3 is dangerous. That rook A3. And rook E3 after. Okay, this pawn. Uh, Although F6 is horrible. F6 is not clever at all. Knight D2 maybe. Let's try and win E4. That looks like an idea. And that would hold F6 anyway. Um. Oh, okay. So King E6 here, Bishop C4. Uh, let's try and mate or something with uh, rook a1 and uh, then king g6. I think rook a1, okay, I've only got 30 seconds though. This is getting very precarious on the clock now. If nothing else, 
Um, check. time here. Um, is that F5? F4? Might have 6, D5? I'll take D5. D4, E4, and G4. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, that was that was that was one struggle. <laughs> that was well played, well played. Uh, got a bit lucky there. I don't know. Okay, Shelling Ford. Uh, okay, uh, English opening. coming up okay d5 e4 and f4 is a sort of plan all right is night okay Opening up that bishop. H5 looks a little bit odd to me. There's F4. This looks nice. That G file. Um, knight G3 looks interesting. Uh, for knight h5 potentially so h4 knight h5 <clears throat> knight h4 maybe bishop oh hang on what have i done am i losing the exchange okay might be don't think would he take that it's his king's been uh compromised a bit if he did this i think i think yeah that looked like pretty bad news this hg queen h4 but here knight f2 rook f2 knight h5 doesn't look that bad queen h4 queen f3 pardon me <laughs> queen h4 queen f3 <clears throat> H4 
HG, HG, G5. Hmm. I thought Queen F3 was okay. Um, what can I play Queen F4 there? What's the idea of that? Oh, I'm, I'm okay. Queen H5 here, Bishop G2. King G2, Queen G3, Queen H3. Queen takes H5. Looks as though it's a possible move here. Five, maybe, or Bishop E3, maybe Bishop E3, just parry this dangerous bishop for a moment uh, before it gets up to no good. Is there like, I think maybe Rook F5. C five. We might need two to D four. E6. Queen G3. Knight D4 to E6. <clears throat> yeah, I think. Knight F4. Knight F4. Well, there's rookie 5 here. Or knight f4. I, th I think. Okay, there's there's gonna be a dangerous diagonal. Let's check the diagonal. All right, I can stop some of the checks. Um. Can I just free some pieces up? Bishop f1. If he plays rook g8, I think knight g7 coming up for rook f6. Oh, hang on. This is dangerous. This is very dangerous. Uh, I think I'm doomed. Looks as though this is bad news indeed. Uh, okay. Do I have to go to F4? Do I survive on F4? Queen D3, King 
a four Oh, <laughs> uh, no, no. Ah, uh -uh. uh. okay. There's no you five check. Hold on. That cuts across his evil plan for winning my queen. I think. <clears throat> Uh, there's not too many moves here, it seems. I'll take her. I'll just check now. We'll just take the queen. I'll take the, take the rook. I'll take the, <laughs> as no, I can't take with the king. I can't, can I take with the queen? That looks dangerous. Taking with the queen, oh, I can't immediately see. Let's just check anyway. Let's check anyway. Just get rid of this guy. Okay. Okay, I think I'm retiring from the rest of the session now. Okay, I've had enough. <laughs> okay, oh, I've had enough. <laughs> uh, okay, no, okay, I've got to regroup. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Always blame the mouse. <laughs> okay. That's enough excitement for one day all week. Okay, for me. Uh, yeah, I thought H5 was dubious. <laughs> back, back to the intuitive assessment. When he played H5, I thought that was... Um, uh, okay, I have to make this a gambit. This doesn't look entirely hot. from the previous game but nevertheless let's get back to trying to think about chess again okay uh can i play bishop f2 here or am i really losing central control i i think i want him to i don't want to for some reason i feel this is a bad idea to okay i'd rather have control on d4 uh, right, and B5 plan, B5 coming up, any good? <clears throat> and here? And I'm wondering, h5, if he takes that, I get some sort of attack, do I? <clears throat> bishop b2, b4 doesn't work. Knight a4 protects the bishop. Otherwise, I don't know, there's, is there a liability there? Uh, I could try and get a queen to f6 later. 
maybe it's like knight g4, queen f6 to hit c3. So I'm planning up my king though on this diagonal, which is uh, dodgy. Rook h8 though, I'm happy with rook h8 to get some sort of attack going. G4, bishop g4, queen h4, h3, bishop g4, bishop h3, bishop h3, g takes, queen takes. Difficult to defend that. Mind you, you can make use of rook f2 and knight d5 check. If the bishop's not on this diagonal, this could backfire potentially. So let's imagine bishop h3, bishop h3, g takes, queen takes, rook f2, bishop f2, knight d5 check. Mm. I have to worry about that here. Yes, he just does a sensible move. What am I talking about? I'm going to have to try and treble. Well, I'm knight d1 or this. c5 doesn't help, knight c5. If I just take it now, just let the knight go to b2. I think on queen b2, okay. Maybe it's not that hot. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll try something. This what about this doubling here? Rook H four. Or Rook F. Okay, he's giving me a pawn. That's all I wanted really. Pawn there. So queen e6 for queen f6 or queen e5, actually queen e5 sits on the position a little bit. We'll have knight e3 to f5, well there's queen b2, let's get out of this pin. Um, if there's okay, Queen F six, Queen D six, Queen E six, maybe. Although this diagonal is dangerous. Uh, Rook H seven on Queen B two. I go back. Let's try and time down a bit. Is there rookie five happening? I hope not. Although Queen C three supports he's gotta go back to H two. There's Queen G four here for Rook H two. Queen G four. No, there's rook takes. That's not working. It gives a parking space for his king. 
All right, can I make a run for it over here, or is this... Or F5? Or King D8? King D7, Knight U5, F6, Rook G6. <sighs> King D7, Knight E5, King C8. There's stuff going on there. Let's get the king away. Rook E5, Queen D6. Oh, it's knight f6. Well, the rook and the h2 are hanging here. That's good news, isn't it? That's good news. Pick up this pawn. Yes, yeah, interesting. Okay, uh, Mike, the, go <laughs> the games are pretty dodgy today. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. The games are pretty dodgy today. Okay, uh, non premium. You have to be a premium member, Kazakhs. I look forward to playing you if you become a premium member. Uh, Mark Zella. No. Let's play English opening. <clears throat> Any other premium, non premium challenges? No, that's all premium. Okay. Hi, Mark. Okay. English opening again. System and then castling. King H two F four F five. This is a key plan, I think. Well, I like it anyway. I think it is a pretty key plan. So. There's a temptation for knight g4 at all times, though. Does it work there? Knight g4, hg, queen h4, bishop h3. It doesn't quite. I hope it doesn't work. <clears throat> I'm going to play f5 here. Well, there's another feature here. This knight's unstable. If he plays the a pawn, bishop e3. And then if he plays the knight back, he's blocked for, against f5, knight d7, f5. Now if he takes this knight f5, hitting, uh, protecting the bishop, g takes, e takes, bishop takes, knight takes, protects the bishop against the rook. Um, if he plays bishop takes c4, there is bishop c4. Um, Which gives d5 actually. If you play it as so an ef bishop c4, is there anything useful? Maybe it's just better to accept the pawn fragmentation here and not go in for this. 
Let's play knight f5. <sighs> yeah. More modest okay, uh, ambition there. Slight structural damage, but you know, I can build up on the F file here. Queen F3, although knight E5. Okay, I have to, oh, there's a knight G4 check. Not quite here. If I play B3, maybe I can play D4 after. Well, I've just loosened this one as well, making this possible probably, knight G4. Queen G4, Bishop C3. Oh, it's pins, pinned. Knight G4, Queen G4 pins the bishop. Well, I'm hoping D4 is possible here. So, yeah. Knight G4, HG. That should be okay. I'll push this guy back. I'll lose the rook. Okay, Queen F three, as previously mentioned. There's knight e four now. Now, okay, so he's undermining that. There's Queen F one. Uh, maybe just Queen F one. Just hold the rook. I'll try and win F seven. Or is that? I don't know if that's. All right, it's giving me F six here. I'll take the two pieces. So King H one. There's um Bishop F six, Queen F six, and then Bishop H six later, surely. Hmm. All right. Okay. Queen f5. There's knight h4. If I go queen f2 out of the way, just play rook f1 soon. And this means now d5. Oh, hang on. This looks good. Win that exchange. There's bishop d4 here as well. <clears throat> I think knight f6 is interesting as well. I'm trying to do some damage winning the queen or win two exchanges. So king f8, knight, well, there was knight h7 on king f8. Just want to win two exchanges. Okay. And. Thanks, yeah, I think I was in a tricky spot there earlier. Uh, Jetzel, okay. Jetzel, hi there. <clears throat> G6. Bishop F4. Mm. Does that does that ring a bell? Theoretically, does it? Maybe. Oh, okay. Can I just grab this? Um, let's grab Bishop. Uh-huh. 
and can I play this? If e5, I'm hoping knight d5 is possible. e5, knight d5. Knight d5. Right. Right, it's dangerous. This h file isn't that. Can I seal things up on h4? Can I play bishop takes and then h5? Or is he playing f4, f5 after? That could be the, uh, my Yeah, I'm just asking for it there on that g file. I think I'd rather play h5 and not open the g file just yet. Keep things closed as far as possible. Um, is that okay? This there's no attack for me at the moment. E six, maybe. So E five, knight D five. I'm thinking knight D five there again. <clears throat> okay, so knight d7 or rook b6 or rook b4. I'll try oh, I'll try this. Oh, 95 here. Does he want to do that? Does he want to play e takes d6? Right, maybe. I see. I see. Um, I could take this and play queen h4. Is that too ridiculous? I'm going to try that because I haven't got any real attack. He's got rook b3 all the time. <clears throat> It'd be good in an endgame, maybe, this extra pawn. Hmm. Say, say he plays rook b3 at some point, I take. Say so he has double pawns. How would I actually do anything? I've got double pawns in the center. Do I ever play D takes? I'll oh, throw in this check. Actually, am I winning E5 here? I'm being super greedy. But it is a center pawn. Oh, I'm threatening B2 actually. No time for G4 just yet. Um, F5 would stop G4. Looks like a useful safety precaution. Okay, so my E6 is slightly vulnerable. And C7. Right. If I played C6, my rook is loose. However, that's not a big deal, is it? Right now. I want to. I think I want to play E5. For e4, so that c6 has a support role there to support d5 for this e5. Now, let's exchange off queens. Oh, 
Yes. And swap weakness for weakness. Can I get behind this? Okay. I have some pawns over here. This gives me a5. Okay, you can win that, but I've got these pawns over there. Or in the center. You can play rook a6. Um, try and get these guys going a bit. There's rook e5. I'll be stubborn about this guy. G4. Oh, is it worth it? It's a bit loose at the moment. Um, but there's always rook c5 here at the moment. Okay, so rook c5, get behind that pawn. Get my king up. Somewhere. As long as I don't get bases, make sure my king's got uh, squares and take away at that rock. Okay, thanks. That was tough. Yeah, thanks. Okay, uh, kill a cat. Hi, kill a cat. Uh, <clears throat> and what am I doing with e6? I don't think e6 would be a great idea. Under most circumstances, e5. Can I play? Bishop c5 seems to run into knight e5. If I go around this this way instead, just to get the b6 safer. a6, bishop e6. If knight e5. Uh, okay. Don't mind this sometimes. If I, I've weakened the f four square, so knight takes knight e seven to g six, or yeah, I okay, I'll go with that. So if I castle. And then um, f5, castle or queen f6. If he castles, I castle queen f6. Coming later. c7 is weak. Right, I have to prepare about c7. Rook c8, okay, probably doubles on that. I just want a pawn. If I castle queen c7, there's rook c8, the queen takes, there's a check. There's king d2. Maybe maybe he has one upon. Queen e7, queen c7, rook c8 though. Uh, 
I think t King D7, knight, um, the knight's protecting the rook. So Queen C7, Rook C8, Queen C8, Bishop C8. I think that's okay. Rook C8, okay, is here. If I repaired this pawn structure with Queen D6, this might be worth doing. I don't like uh, the um, pawn structure here. Right, finally, I can think about knight f4. Or not. Uh, actually, e5 was. Yeah. e5. That's a bit silly. Okay, but anyway. Uh, f5. Looks as though there's even more weaknesses with f5. Uh, queen f6, maybe with the idea at some point c6. If dc, rook c6, yes, this is overloading the, the knight. h5, g4. G4 coming up. I'll play G4 anyway, I think. Or H4. H4 for this knight, actually. If I have a nice knight on F4, that's much better idea. Okay, I'll keep the queens on, I think. F6. Um. Yeah. All right. I'll take that. It's a liability. That pawn. Mind you, the F files now a liability. If I got the queens off here, this is pretty miserable because of c7. Can I get to play c5 before this? Just to try and do something about this. c7 issue. So b6. I'm time for b6. Bishop b5. Hmm. B4, C4, protected past pawn. Queen H7, Queen G4. Oh, he's got a past pawn there. If I get the queen, is it terrible to get the queens off here? <clears throat> this A file, okay. Knight F eight. This has got some pressure on E four now. Let's get the king out of there. All right. That's not nice. Uh, he's going to use this H file if I'm not careful. Um, yeah, my king's in the wrong place. Oh, this is getting scary. Yeah, 
chance my pieces is not great. Um, yeah, it's dominating. Oh, can I create a distraction? Yeah, um. Yeah, I think he had rook h6 there. This isn't going very well. I think the idea of yeah crushing me. Uh, ah, what am I doing? I'm going to get the square. F5. Now I'm 30 seconds behind. That's just great. Oh, I sealed my rook in. My A4. Yeah, that was that was getting really dangerous. We played tough games today. I'm just having a bit of luck in some of them. A lot of them, all of them. Okay, at the moment. Talk Medita. I think Rook H6 was winning because uh, uh, Rook G6 97. Yeah, there was an unfortunate fork. It was overloaded my position. The Knight on F5 deserved to win that. Um, okay. Um, this is a three-minute game. Okay, I'll use this as F F pawn H six F five F four Queen Queen F six Knight F four So it opens up the Queen potentially. There's also um I think there's a potential for a Queen G six, it's been extinguished now. That potential okay okay yeah bishop e3 looks i'll take the exchange uh, right can i double the rooks on the seventh don't mind taking queens off That's interesting. And uh, carry on doubling. I can take the queen. Thanks, yeah, it's fast and furious, a uh, three minute game. Okay. B6. 
Big Boy <laughs> RG2015. Okay, what is that about? Is that about Boy George or something? Fan of Boy George? Maybe there's no picture to explain that one. Okay. H, this is not a three minute game, but this feels like a three minute game so far. Okay. Knight, yeah. I'm going to put the knight here just to leave that F pawn ready to roll. So king h7, f5, f4. That looks fine. In fact, d5 and e4 looks like central mobility. So d5 and e4 for central mobility. What, 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 nine G three going to H five. I'll still go with this. And um, okay, so Knight F five coming up. I'm playing this too quickly. I think I'm being influenced too much by the speed of my opponent. Um, yeah, I'm playing this too quickly. Let's think about things. Less random. Let's try and some random moves here. Uh, D4 is slightly weak. There's a possibility of Queen H4, and I dropped D5. So C6 as a precaution, then Queen H4, and Bishop H3. So c6, and that gives rise to queen h4 and bishop h3, in which case that looks dangerous because if takes queen h3, there's always rook f3 later, doubling, etc, etc. Uh, if that's going to happen or not, that's not going to happen quite yet. Annoying. Uh, I'll go back then. Uh, here maybe because f3 might be something with bonus. Uh, if my queen's sitting on the f file f3, then rook f1 pain. Uh, can I just double the rooks here? I might double the rooks. In fact, after queen f7, rook f2. To be considered or not. Well, I just bishop h5 here, there's g4. Queen f7. Queen f6. Bishop h5 is tempting. g4, rook f3, or queen g6. And bishop f3 here, yeah. just for fun. G okay, so GF EF looks dangerous that form pawn. Ah right. Still Queen H five coming up. Uh, well this threatens Rook H three. For Queen H five. Yeah, I was looking at Queen H five, Queen H three, but this is better just simply um I can just unpin for a moment. Um G four there's Queen G four. So I'm threatening Rook H three and Queen H five. Okay, I believe that's working. If 
thanks. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, dangers of the form porn. Vincent's. Well, no, it's not Vincent's. It's Vic. I have no idea actually. Vic. Vic. Vicent. Okay, Vincent. Okay, one elephant, two elephants, three elephants. Okay, we got a game. I'll uh, play Sicilian, a bit of variety. Let's play, uh, yeah. Ah, oh, right. It's a three minute game. I've just realized. This has a slower pace than most of the five minute games at the moment though. Okay, I have to prepare knight G against knight g5 to castle to protect f7. I believe queen b3 I can, I can just protect uh, with queen f8. Uh, um, I could play maybe d5 here. So, um, yeah, I think this looks nice just to uh, block that diagonal for a moment. Double the pawns, I need c5, bishop e6. All right, you can play queen b7. That doesn't seem in the spirit of earlier things, though. There's also bishop d5 in this position. Uh, bishop d5. And then knight c6 later. Or oh, here. Yeah. Getting a lot of development here, piece development. Can I play this? Knight g4 looks dangerous. Or just putting my king back. Or just a5. Well, Okay, I'll play a move. Um, this looks uh, okay. It looks as though rook d1 might be dangerous there. I think actually c4 is an issue. Um, with that um, knight, let's protect the knight. Bishop c4 to d3 might be something. I think, yeah, putting my king maybe on g6, queen b3, king g6, or, or just putting it back for a moment. Exchange of queens. B5 or rook a8 or knight g4. Knight g4 might actually be interesting here. Yeah. And there's king g1, just plays king g1. What am I doing? Let's go back, waste of time. Uh, okay. Uh, A6, uh, it's only double pawns here though. Can I try winning this pawn? So rook A5 coming up, if I can win this pawn. It was a sort of dangerous pawn potentially.
Yeah. Mm, let's pick up the rook. Oh, thanks for the game, Voicent. Uh, ZR Master. Three minute. You're all into three minute today, huh? A lot of you into the three minute. <clears throat> CR Master. I'll play G6 here, yeah. Knight E7 castles. King H7 and F5. Would he take here? Oh, why don't I, why don't I just take? Oh, because of h6. Yeah, okay. That was the point. f5 here. Oh. Uh, right. Well. Yeah. Um. Uh, there's a lot of foals to be up for grabs if I took here like the H file. Let's just take that and then uh, if I block things up, I don't know, lose a lot of prospects there. Um, this night is awkward. On E seven. Okay, that's interesting. So uh can I take this center file? Or just go for the uh, attack. Uh go for the attack. So rook E eight. Uh, this diagonal looks good if I can get the bishop on that diagonal. Oh, okay. Um, oh, there's bishop c4 check. What am I doing? Muppets. <laughs> oh, how to wreck a position. All right, there's pin. That's awkward. It's awkward. Pins in, in the faster time limits. Sources of disaster quite often. If I take d5, c takes, d1, no point. Um, let's bring the king up. And um, f4, I suppose. I'll take here, though. And I'll play for rook d4. So I want to play bishop f4. d2. Ties down that rook. Oh, I should have maybe done something about these pawns. Rook c1 though looks dangerous. The bishop is on that c7 possibility as well. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I think this is okay. G4, G3. All right, thanks, uh, see you uh, Okay, uh, Rexy man. Men, Rexy men. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's see. This, um, am I being too boring with the white pieces today? It's possible. Hmm. Uh, I want to stop um, Bishop G4 or Knight G4. So we have this plan again. D4 looks as though um, push the bishop back, liberate the bishop again. Oh, we've got a familiar H5 as well. Modeling and only a game here. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, it didn't work out that Oh, it's very different now to that earlier game. I still think this h5 is a bit dodgy here. Go with this here, knight f4. Can I go with g4? That blocks the use of the h4 square for any tactics like knight g4 and queen h4 extinguished g5 is going to give me a very big d5 control surely the knight can't move without knight e7 being a concern Queen h5 and bishop e4 looks strong. Queen h5, bishop e4. I'll protect, yes. Okay, the knight's paralyzed at the moment. Queen h5, bishop e4. Actually, yeah, queen h5 looks good. Uh, I think just for winning h4 anyway. Um, yeah, I'll take h4 there. So knight f6. That f5 square actually looks good. Uh, it would repel against queen h6. Maybe I should just take that. Uh, I don't like the use of the f5 square. Okay, if um, rook a e1, queen e8. Okay, what about bishop g3 and f4? Okay, d5 here. This does give rise to an idea, actually, of bishop d4 now. And the sort of tactic, if I ever get a rook over here, there's queen h7, rook h4 mating. The sort of mate pattern emerging potentially. Not quite here. Yeah, that's a pain, isn't it? Okay. Queen g3 would mean f4, I'm supporting e3 for a moment. Otherwise, I don't want to drop e3. Um, so f4, bishop d4 looks plausible to play f4 and bishop d4. Try and keep control over the position. Is 
is it worth flinging in um, C5 there? Yeah. So um, Bishop D4 back to this theoretical mating pattern at some point uh, with Queen H4, Rook E4. No, it doesn't actually work. F5 G is going to give the King G6 anyway. Oh well. Uh, D takes here or um, we'll keep the pass pawn or Bishop F6. DC. Or Bishop F6. Maybe Bishop. I'll keep the pass pawn. All right, now this mate pattern again is emerging. Well, the immediate mate threat. Well, in fact, knight h7, queen h6. That's queen f8 there. Okay. Oh, all right, that was a bit premature, I think. Um, knight h7, queen h6. That's queen f8. Might be premature here. Thanks for the game, h7. Uh, okay. Hi, hi there. <clears throat> it's in tango. I think this is a dangerous opponent. Twenty one hundred on bullet. I've noticed. Mm. Probably hasn't played on this time limit much, but seems provisional rating. A6 and Bishop A7. I'm not going to take anything for granted. As the chase is saying in the chase, this TV program, uh, which I quite like. One of them says that quite a lot. Um, Bishop D7 or Knight, Knight G4 or Bishop D7 for Queen C8 for Bishop H3. Quite violent. I think people don't know that I use this as a sort of hack attack. Okay, so King H2, H5 or Knight F4. They're both dangerous. Knight F4 means Bishop H3. Actually, Knight F4 looks very dangerous. I like it when that Bishop leaves over there. Okay, so this is a nice Knight. This looks nice. H5 and G4. Okay, Queen E3 hits the rook. Um, maybe uh, just in case I'll move the rook back. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, if I reinforce, if g4, knight e2, knight f4. I want that knight on f4. I don't want a pawn there. If there was a pawn there, it's prone to undermining and I block up things anyway. While the knight's on f4, there's no g3 because of that h3. It looks dodgy. But this, this looks like I need to move this away. Having loose pieces is... Not great. As tempo gainers for the opponent, any loose pieces tend to fall off and give tempo gains. So I think rook eight eight. Or do I play h five? It's tempting also. Oh there's knight oh there's oh there's uh knight f six. Um A king e7, was that knight's kind of stranded. I think he's tempting me to play this. Oh, hang on, I've just lost that bishop. That was that was silly. Ah, uh, yeah, no, okay. Let's calculate that. No, I should have just covered f6. Oh, well, I lost this nice attacking bishop. Hmm. Didn't need to do that. 
G4 does look tempting though here yeah, again G4 looks really quite tempting maybe not yet finally move this away so rook g8 g4 rook a g8 g4 yeah i think this is passive for white this possession um Yeah, passive. G4 looks pretty good coming up. Mind you, huh. uh, that looks as though I haven't got anything. Why did I do that? That's that's not very clever, is it? Um, oh, yes. So, I'm not getting anything from this. It's just stranded. Or is it an attacking piece? Maybe it's an attacking piece. If I ever get Rook F2 in, that's dangerous that night. successfully oh. Yes, yeah, not good, is it? I'm doomed. Yeah. Oh, that's a ruined possession. Quite a nice possession earlier. Ah. Well played. Uh, I, uh, uh, so I hate that. <laughs> We're in a position, which is really nice. Okay. But no, resourceful for the opponent. Yeah. I, I know. 
Uh. <laughs> okay, regroup, regroup. I think this is the last game. Uh, okay. Um. King H7, Queen D7, F5. Queen D7, F5. F oh. Bishop, ah, uh, Queen D seven. For F six, for G five, for Knight G six. <clears throat> okay, look here. G five for night G six. G6 to E5. Knight E5, F5. No, this um, F5 is bad for me here. Um, knight F5. Knight H4. I'll try Knight H4 for a moment. Uh, it's going to get into F5. All right, Knight. G oh, I'm going passive now. Knight G3. Knight E7. Going passive. Ah, uh, Muppets. <laughs> Bishop F eight. Oh, this is passive. Bishop F eight or ninety seven. It's all passive at the moment. Is I don't know if ninety oh, ninety seven. It's horrible. This is horrible. I've just got a clock edge. That's it. Ninety seven, rookie seven. I don't want to give the <laughs> I don't want to mark a marker on uh, E six. I think my king needs to come out of here. Uh, so Bishop F eight nah, knight G six to E five. Let's leave that knight on that F five.
Okay, Rook A E A and F five. And um oh I don't know. It looks it looks as though C five's coming. The only thing is is a little bit slow here. Um C takes uh all right, so C five's happening. Take this file for what it's worth. Oh, blocks in the bishop, I suppose, for a moment. And take the file. Okay. Maybe like pawn to h3 and then rook d2. Pressure on, I think. Queen E five. There's a possibility of rook E two coming up. Oh, it's queen C six there. Rook D three. Then there's the possibility of C five being dismantled at some point. Tactically. Rook B three. F five. Uh, F five. Uh, yeah. Okay, maybe okay. Rook B three. I don't know what that really does. Rook B three. Uh, just wait for a moment. Let's just wait for a moment. Let's see. Rook D two. Is that really okay? C five is a bit loosened. There's Queen C four here. This is the point. There's Queen C four. There's a weakness for the last move there. Okay, there's Queen A4, or there's <laughs> Queen A4 or Bishop C5 coming up. Let's just try Queen A4 for a moment. All right, take now Queen C4. Queen D three or Bishop C five. I think Queen D three to start off with. Protect this guy. No, it's, this clock situation is pretty bad. Okay, yeah. Uh, all right. Thanks. Yeah. Um, hope you had a good fun watching that a uh, bit. Okay. Happy New Year when it comes. Yeah, hope, hope you're having great holidays, and um, see you in the New Year next time, 2020. Wow. Okay. Thanks very much.